there. Today we're going to do something different. We're going to talk a little bit about real estate history, maybe uh, recent real estate history. And particularly, we're going to talk about a big change that happened after the last recession. Many people who are in the financial industry know about it. It really came in, revolutionized, changed the way that banks and financial institutions uh, interacted with clients. And more importantly, in a real estate transaction, my buyers. So the big thing that I like to talk to people about is the Dodd-Frank law. And there's a big change that happened. Whereas before the recession, before that happened, there were many lenders who would issue a loan and uh, you would be in the process of going through, getting pre-approved for the loan and qualified for the loan. And literally, it would be right down to the last minute that you would find out that you would be approved. I mean, sometimes we would be actually at an attorney's office because we're in an attorney state. If you're in another state, maybe you were at a title office right down to the last minute waiting for the documents to come in from the lender. And that was the first time really Really, most buyers saw their documents in full. First time they knew what they were going to actually be paying for mortgage and all the terms weren't clear about the loan. Well, the Dodd-Frank law came in with a three-day disclosure rule and that's really helpful to buyers like yourself. That's one of the reasons why things have changed. They have to disclose to you all the financial aspects of your loan three days before you go to closing, and that's three business days. Now, Saturday's included, so I like to call it post office business days. <laughs> so they're going to issue a document that's called a closing disclosure, and this document should run pre pretty close to the estimate they give you right when you first apply for the loan, otherwise known previously as a good faith estimate. Um, they're going to issue you the closing disclosure. You've got to sign it, acknowledge you've got it. It's going to tell you all the terms of your loan, tell you whether it's fixed, it's adjustable rate mortgage. It may tell you like how high your payment can go. These are the kinds of information that you, you wanna have access to long before you actually get to the closing table. That way, if you have questions, you can ask your lender, you can work it out. And if there is necessary for them to change something about your loan, they can redisclose. Now also, when you get to the closing table, there'll be like a final disclosure, which the uh, attorney or title company will review with you. It'll tell you what your payment's gonna be, what the interest rate is, what the terms are, how many years, how long you're paying for it, how much you're gonna pay for it over the, the course of the loan. And it's really important information and really beneficial for you to see. Now, I'm Chris Willow Williams with Go Getter Team at Keller Williams Peachtree Road. For more videos like these, definitely click subscribe or click like, and we love when you comment below. Look forward to seeing you soon.